What is up, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Music, and everywhere you find the Race Flays Podcast Network. I am here with my friend Allison, the organization maven, and she's going to help me because it is spring, and it's spring cleaning time here at the studio, the Race Flays studio. This is where we film the Race Flays Podcast, Allison. This is where we do a lot of photo shoots, and of course, it's my mom's back den, so that's the challenge. Uh, it's where she stores stuff stamps collection she's got uh some equipment over there i've got records over there she's got a, a closet full of candles and stuff like that there's all kinds of stuff happening here so that's going to be our challenge today allison welcome to the show Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. I even have goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Heck this, is, yeah. this is like my home element, having so many options of creativity and then everything's everywhere. So you can't enjoy or en enjoy your things because they're everywhere and you don't know where to start. Perfect. That's exactly my problem. There's so many things going on here, stuff that doesn't even belong here. So if you tell me it's got to go, it's got to go, we'll make it happen. Where do you want to start first, Allison? I want to start in that corner right there. It's calling my name. All right, let's get to it. I see there's a trunk here. What's in it? I have no idea. Do you want to find out? <laughs> yes. And that, can we turn off that uh, thing that spouts things at me? Yeah, yeah. This is like squirting a... Uh... Refresher. It smells good, it does. but only if you're like right here. Isn't that weird? It's like supposed to be take care of the whole room, and it only smells good like well, right here. Well, it scared here. me for 30 seconds before I recognized it. It's like, <laughs> Just throw it out here. Okay, so you like it? Oh, I see your mom likes to entertain. We have oh, yes. leftover party, goods. party supplies. All right, we can get rid of that. Okay, uh, this is dog. No, this is stretch. You're not stretching. Nobody you need to stretch stretching. more. Nobody's stretching. It's probably trash now. I have a bag here too. In case, we need, in case we have trash. Okay. And I take all the donations. Oh, okay, cool. So you don't have to worry about taking the donation. Do we have a pool? No. Why do we have a pool towel? Uh, for the beach, which we rarely go to. So let's get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> this is getting... You make it easy. Wait, we have another one. No. Uh, Hawaiian Island. Uh, are these for the dogs? I think they're for the dogs. Oh, for, oh, you know what happens when it gets wet? When the dogs come in, we put, we put them right there on the floor. So they're like floor mats. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need a dog pile. So that we can better, and then look at these cute little jackets. There you go. So dog power here. Dog pile. Look at these cute jackets. Yep. Those are for the. So cold. Dogs get cold when they have to go pee outside. They wear their jackets. Okay. This is this another one of their blankets? That's just a blanket. That's I used blanket. to have it on the couch where the podcast was, but got it's just it. got. I it, mean, it, it needs my a new my son was. It needs a better home. It needs a better home. Okay. I'm gonna throw that in my son's room. Wait, there's more. Don't disappear on me. Another one. Look at these cute jackets. Your dogs, your they have dogs are jackets. Your dogs, your dogs are styling. They have two jackets each. Yes. In case one gets dirty. <laughs> they have to be stylish. They're fashionable. One has to match the weather. Exactly. Is this this is one of those massage things? Yes. You've seen them, right? I thought it was like an exercise thing. No, 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 no. It goes like this. You do it yourself, and you go like this. You put different things on your back. Yeah. Oh, this is another party thing. Oh, that should go in the garage. Shaping dish. Okay, who is still playing with Legos? Nobody. So that's is this just donation. in case? Yeah, it's totally donation. It's donation. Is this another garage thing? Your yeah, cooler? Be the this blankets. is a treasure chest of blankets and maybe a pillow. Dang! You got all the blankets. We never knew this existed, did we? Nope. This might be another. That's a barbecue thing. Okay, so I was gonna say you probably put Rotisserie. A Rotisserie. chicken on it. You guys have seen this on the show? Yep, chicken jacket. Chicken okay. fish. Yeah. 
wash bags, and then this looks like the original basket for the dogs. Like the original. <laughs> um, I just want to move it out of my way. Okay. The question is, are we going through the blankets? Um because hear me out. What would you, you I want to really... put one of those rolling craft clear things here to put all the dog supplies and so it's oh, easy and accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, if any if we're not going to go through it, then I just want to scooch it that way and then put the dog stuff right here by the door so that we okay, can come cool. in and out of. Oh, yeah, let's do that. But I mean, I just didn't know if we had the authority to go through the blankets. Um, this is your mom's space. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with the blankets. I don't want to infringe on her. Exactly. That's the chill we have here. And because it's on sliders, it shouldn't be heavy. We might have to do a sweep. Or a we get a, yeah, we, oh, you know what? I got a vacuum right here. Okay. Look at this. We have a vacuum. So cute. I love all these little family things. Okay, I want to talk about manuals. Manuals, please talk about it. We should keep them, right? We should always have them on, on just in case. No, they are all online. You can search them up, you can open your fridge, you can find the model number. Everything you need is online. Oh my god. The only thing I have clients keep is the warranty information. But the warranty. <clears throat> Uh, but other than it. that, there's no warranty. Trash. Recycle bin. There you go. Great tip. Why do they call you the, the organization maven, Allison? Okay, so a maven is one who knows through experience and skill. So Ooh. I have 25 years of experience and skill. 25 years of doing this? Yes. Amazing. My first client was a garage and he didn't even realize he was asking me to organize his garage. What do you mean he didn't realize? He was so asking? we were at a networking uh, pop-up event back in two, 1999 at Triangle Square, okay. and I was the information desk. So anyone that couldn't afford to be a vendor, they would send over free samples for our community event. Oh, okay. And so I set up the table with all these kind bar samples and emergency samples and business cards, all for local retailers in Costa Mesa. Right. The guy next to me, was a surf girls board short uh, company called uh, El Nino Board Shorts. El Nino. Shout out to El Nino. Come on the show. <laughs> well, it was 1999, so it was very, like, 
a good idea to be called that. And so he had all these board shorts. And so he had his pop-up tent and he kept opening boxes and the box would say like small blue paisley and it would be like pink plaid and the wrong size. What the? So he was completely disorganized. So I'm all done with my table. And so I kind of just start standing next to his table and chit chat and fidget with his stuff. Mind you, I'm 19 years old, and so I'm very. I, I don't have. Is this a, like OCD or something like that? Is that because I because I, I I get that because I have that. I mean, I'm not good at it. Obviously, you're better. You're better at it than me. Well, but. I just like things really tidy and nice. organized. I don't know if I'm uh, diagnosed as OCD because I don't have all the same OCD tendencies with light bulbs Repeating and like things me, like and checking the stove to see if it's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't do any of that stuff. I'm just very tidy and I like to line up things. So and you've always been like that. I've since always been like young? this. Yes. Wow. So anyways, he's trying to find stuff and I'm kind of doing stuff and then people are coming by trying to shop and he's still disorganized. He didn't even get there early to set up typical uh, Huntington Beach, Costa Mesa, relaxed lifestyle. Chill, he doesn't even show up the two hours early that we need to prep. He shows oh up like God. right when the event starts. So he spends the whole back, practically the whole event trying to set up his table. Just scatterbrained guy. So I, so I go, gosh, you know, how can you sell these board shorts if you're so disorganized? Like to me, that's not a good business model or even to be in business. And he's like, oh man, you should see my garage. It's crazy. <sighs> Oh, and so again, gets worse. I'm 19 and naive and don't probably realize he's being sarcastic or just generalizing. Yeah. And I go, okay, great. Where do you live? And he goes, wait, you want to organize my garage? And I go, well, if, if that will make your business more successful to have all your inventory organized, like that sounds like a win to me. And he goes, okay, here's my address. And I show up the next day. No way. <laughs> and so, so you organize his, his garage, helps his business. Does he give you a little tip or so we never did, you even, talked, did you think about money at that time? We didn't even talk about money because I didn't even know this was a real thing to do as a business. Like yeah. on my end, uh, in 1999, yeah. we don't have social media. We don't have Netflix. We don't have any kind of guide. Like I don't even have Martha Stewart. Like Martha <laughs> Stewart was my idol at the time. So I didn't oh, even really? know that organizing was a thing that you could charge for. Yeah. So anyways, I finished his whole garage, inventory, everything. And so we're at the end of the day and he's like, oh man, we should like go to Taco Bell. I should buy you food or something. And right. I go, actually, I kind of would like a board short. So- Oh, you're trading some shorts. Well, Perfect. so I'll tell you, the size is, you know, <laughs> part of 25 years of experience. And so I'm not a size small, I'll just, it's very obvious. So I go. look at a pair of shorts and I go, I want this sunset pair. And he goes, and because it was a size extra large, he tells me he can't give it to me because it's too big and he has to keep his bigger sizes because he has such a limited supply. What? Yes. Wait a minute, you just cleaned his whole garage for him for free, Yep. but he won't give you the extra large board shorts. Right. <laughs> Who so is he, this guy? So he hands me a size medium of the same style and goes, here you go, I have plenty of mediums. Oh my God, but that's not your size. Right. <laughs> That's so, horrible. So I'm very crestfallen and like disappointed that he's now called me fat and oh, said geez. that he can't give me something because it's a limited supply. And he goes, I can make this better. And I'm thinking, no, you can't, dude. You've already insulted me and then handed me a medium. I don't know how we can make this any better. Right. And so he gets on the phone and he calls his buddy who worked at this environmental studies company. They needed a receptionist. So he goes, hey man, this lady just organized, this kid just organized my garage and I need to help her out and I can't give her any money and I think I've hurt her feelings. <laughs> he does this all in front of me on his cell phone. <laughs> oh, in front of you? Yeah. Oh my and gosh. so the friend is like, so how can I help? And he's like, you're hiring for a receptionist, right? And he's like, right, but I'm just an engineer. I don't have any say in the office. He's like, well, man, just get her an interview. Like, just talk to your boss and get her an interview. Maybe she'll get a job out of this and that will pay her. And I just looked at him like, I don't want to go work in a job. I, I just want to get the board shorts. That's like, yeah. like that's all. So Jeez. I go on the job interview the next day and I get the job. <laughs> nice. So he got you a job. <laughs> at least. He, couldn't get, he didn't have 20 bucks in his pocket. Right. Anything. Five bucks in his pocket. Right. Even the board shorts that you wanted. But he well, so ended he, up by getting you a job. So here's the thing. I went home before the job interview and told my parents, I know what I want to do when I grow up. I don't want to go to college. I don't want to travel. I want to clean people's garages. What? And my parents go, um, we're upper middle class. There's no need for you to be a house cleaner. 
And I go, no, no, not a house cleaner, a garage cleaner. And so in my parents, that was worse that than being a worse? house cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> and I go, no, no, I want to like organ clean out people's stuff and then put it in strategically and organized. And I want to clean their garage. And my parents go, take the job. Just go on a job interview and take the job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that moment after that whole situation. So, so after that, I was always chasing the dream of being an organizer. But I would do it like on the evenings and the weekends for people. Right. And respond, respond to penny saver ads and things like that. Because again, we don't have social media. We don't yeah, have the internet. Yeah, penny saver. That's exactly what you had. And yeah. then I did all these office jobs as, to me, a side hustle. Because organizing was... Was the dream. Was the dream. Was the dream. That's freaking awesome. And now you're doing it. So now I'm doing it. So how, I, how long did you, when, at one point, did it become an actual business business? 2018, I rebranded and became the organization maven. And then that's when I, um, on my website, I took all my other services off. I was a home um, personal concierge at the time. So I had quite a few, like, ce not, not celebrity, but rich clients where I would travel around and do their grocery shopping for them, their laundry for them. Mm. I would sometimes organize their garage or pantry just as a side benefit. But That's was, what a personal concierge is. But I was more of a concierge. Right. And so I would also um, go to people's homes and like do their laundry and change their sheets and iron men's shirts. Like, oh, wow. As if I was a dry cleaner. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> like an assistant. It didn't make any sense to me that they paid me 25 an hour to iron his shirts when he could just take it to the dry cleaners for 250 Like, I just was like, okay, you're going to pay me $25 to iron your shirts? Okay. Like, Perfect. whatever. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> so exactly. I did all these, like, little odd jobs, but I always wanted to organize. So what happened was is someone got upset that I wouldn't um, come and work for $10 an hour for her. And I go, these are my prices. It's on my website. If you don't like it, go find someone else. I have many clients. I I'm not going to yeah. just... You're a stranger to me. I'm, I'm not going to do this. Mm. And I go, really, I'm not even <clears throat> taking clients because I'm trying to switch into organizing. And so she had said, well, then you should take everything off your website that you're not offering. And I go, you're right. I should. I've just been so busy. But thanks for letting me know. And then you did. So I hung up, blocked her. And uh, <laughs> and then Blockers. I get a and then I get onto Facebook and go, hey, I need to change and rebrand from a personal concierge to an organizer. Do you have any suggestions on names? Mm -hmm. And right away, a client comments, why don't you call yourself the organization maven? What? So I didn't know what a maven was. And so I quickly Googled maven and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is me. This, this is me. I should have been this all this time. So I deleted the post on Facebook because I didn't need any more feedback and right away went on to Yelp and all my social media at the time and rebranded everything to the organization Maven. Because Maven is an expert, right? right? Somebody that's completely an expert at that point. And it's all by experience. It's not mm -hmm. like I read a book, took a test, and passed. you go to house, like organizing college. <laughs> so. Well, there's quite a few uh, companies that call themselves um, the, the leader in training for to become a professional organizer and you watch a web webinar answer some questions and you get a certification oh, for 150 geez. bucks there's always a scam out and there. so i'm always like what 150 bucks and you watch a webinar i've like been in hoarder homes i've been in ocd homes i've been in drug addict homes i've been in empty Whoa. homes i've been in storage units i've been all, all over like so this is nothing <laughs> so i'm like <laughs> I watch a webinar and I'm an organizer now. Yeah. So, I mean, not to knock, but it just, like, you have to have all this experience before you can call yourself a maven. It doesn't take a, read a, that's take a webinar, sick. get a certificate. <laughs> now, that's, that's deep. That means you are an expert. That means you have a passion for this. You actually had a dream since you were 19. And well, then you, you know. as early as age seven, I was inside Vons organizing their canned goods and turning it forward and making sure it was in a straight line. And I also wow. did the gift, not the gift cards, the uh, greeting cards, the stationary aisle. You know, like when you go to grab Sympathy and it's a graduation card and yeah. it just pisses you off and you <laughs> just cram it back. My mom would drop me off uh, on the greeting card aisle and then I would just stand there with the second shopping cart because we're, uh, we're a family of seven. Seven? Oh, wow. Six, eight, a family of eight. So we always needed two shopping carts to go shopping with. So my mom would bring me along and give me the second cart, drop me off in the greeting card aisle, and I would just be standing there as a seven or eight-year-old. So then I'm like, oh, let's match up this front with that front. Oh, let's, well, this one says sympathy over in graduation. Okay, let's find the sympathy one. So I would start wow. organizing the greeting card aisle until she came it. to got me. 
And then, wow. and then it was the canned uh, vegetables and um, other canned goods that I would just be standing there as she's, you know, humming and, you know, trying to figure out what she wanted. I'd just be standing there waiting. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to turn this forward. Oh, this one says it's, it's creamed corn, but this is the other corn. Okay, where does this go? Oh, this goes over here. Oh, okay, let's turn. So my mom would get mad at me and say, we're here to shop. I cannot wait for you to fix every shelf. And I go, but mom, it's, they're so messy. I have to fix them. How come anyone shop oh if it's so God. messy? <laughs> How was it at home with eight kids? Did it, it, not everybody was as organized as you. So did you, people just make a mess and just drive you crazy? Well, so being the youngest of uh, uh, six, um, my brothers all were married and out of the house by the time I hit five. So I grew mm. up in my own room. I didn't have to share it with any of my brothers. I got my own bathroom. So I grew up like an only child, but had five older siblings. And the only time my brothers came home was to do laundry, which was free and eat dinner, which was free <laughs> because living on their own, they were just being bachelor guys so they would be like hey i'm gonna bring my laundry home and hey i'm gonna eat more eat dinner i am gonna bring five friends with me and my parents just kind of rolled with it and just you know fed everyone That's but funny. um there was just a lot of chores in our house that i was assigned to because i was the only one that stuck around when it came time oh, for chore time right. <laughs> <laughs> so i was just very meticulous i was very i was always like every saturday i had to clean out the curio cabinet which you know was glass with the you know mirrored and all the little trinkets so I had to remember how my mom wanted them. And I would like remember, pull everything down, wipe, wipe each thing, put it back. There would be times that I didn't turn certain figurines the right way, so my mom would fix it, but I would pay attention. Oh, that one's facing that way. Okay, so then two weeks later mm. when I'm cleaning again, I would remember, oh, this thing faces that way and that thing faces. So I'd have to do a lot of memorizing of how things were because my mom would fix things. She definitely would. Meticulous, so. meticulous. So. How, do you ever get a break? Like at home, do you get to just throw your stuff around and just like that, that, that? I've been uh, organizing all day and I'm done? Well, full, first of all, my house is super meticulously organized and tidy. So there are the few nights that I come home and I don't want to do anything, but it literally takes me 15 minutes to re-clean it up the next morning. Like every wow. morning my bed is made, every morning the dishes are washed and you know left in the dish drainer. Uh, I open all the blinds, I turn on music, I turn on my fireplace app on my TV, and um, and like the house is set. So then when I come home, those things are still on and it's very soothing to come home to a clean, tidy space so even if i do take off my shoes my clothes and lay on the bed there mm -hmm. isn't much to clean up because everything's so st staged i guess nice so and then the other thing is because we're a family of two i only have four of each thing so i only have like four plates four bowls you know four coffee cups you know one mixing bowl like we have so little of stuff that even if one thing does get out of place it's only one thing so it's real wow. easy to move it back we don't we're not minimalist we just i purposely choose not to have a lot of stuff <laughs> do you think that's part of it with like a lot of people is like people just consume so many things like we buy well, so many things. look at right? all those blankets yeah out like, of that thing ex that's I a great have, example i only have one blanket that lives on my couch and I, and that's it. Like, yeah. if I'm going to change the blanket or get a new one, then I'm going to purge the existing one. You're absolutely right. But I really like the one that I have. So any other one I see at, you know, Kohl's, Costco, whatever, I'm like, well, I already have one on the blank, one on the couch. I like it. I'm not going to replace it with this frumpy thing that just wow. happens to be softer or whatever, you know. I hope my wife sees this video. <laughs> There's 30 blankets in that trunk that we haven't, until you lifted it up, we haven't lift, opened well, it, that thing for like five years. Right. And so that's the problem. These things get forgotten about and then you just bring in new, shiny, special, softer, whatever, and the old stuff never get purges. And then with older stuff that's maybe like from your kids or something, I always encourage people to turn those into quilts. Like take them to a seamstress that will turn your t-shirts into a blanket. Oh, that like way you can memorable items. Yeah, that way you can continue using them and they're not taking up like if you wanted to keep everything in that trunk but cut it down to one quilt, then yeah. it would be significantly less 
a consumption of space. That's a lot of volume. Dude, if, if you can condense that down to one blanket that's folded and put in one of those zip, um, you know, uh, bl you know those those like zip storage bags, in, yes. then it's the volume of stuff is much smaller, and you can use that space for something else, like pictures or other memorabilia. It still that can be a memorabilia wonderful. thing. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So, I mean, uh, dude. So that's kind of just how I kind Great. of work, is I look at the volume of stuff versus, I don't call it quantity, because quantity is such a bad word, so to speak, but the volume, everything in our homes take a volume of space yes. and so when you are so then when you're looking to reduce the volume it's like well where do you start what has the most significance what matches your house the best what matches your personality mm. so when you have less volume it's easier to keep it up it only takes me a half hour to clean my whole apartment because everything is already in its place, so I'm actually cleaning the floor. I'm actually doing the laundry. I'm actually well, my room that cleans the floor. But I mean, like, there, wow. there, it, there's less for me to do because there's less volume in my house. Less, I think that's a great way to look at it. I never thought, well, I have thought. I always think about space and, like, you know, how we can save space. But I think a lot of people think, like, oh, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of quantity. So I like the way you think more volume as opposed to qu uh, quantity. Well, it's a mindset change. Unfortunately, a lot of us grew up, at least in my generation, I'm like a millennial Gen Xer, so I'm right on the cusp. But we grew up where our kids, as kids, we had to share our toys with other less needy kids. So we had to get rid of our favorite toys to give to other kids. And that kind of like built up some resentment of sharing our stuff with other people. Mm -hmm. So then we overbuy to fill that hole from when we were a kid. So I never, when I negotiate with kids and some adults, I never talk about sharing their stuff to give to other people. I have them focus on their favorites, your favorite stuffed animal, your mm -hmm. favorite Barbie, your favorite, you know, little truck, you know, Hot Wheels, whatever, just mm -hmm. your favorites. So that way they go from having 120 of an item to seven because they're yeah. only focused on their favorites and there's no way all 120 are their favorites <laughs> that's huge that's huge so then once i get them down to their favorite seven the rest of the items just get taken away i don't tell especially kids where their stuff is going i just have them focus on the favorites and they don't even really think about the other non-favorites anymore so that's kind of how that's I, great. and I kind of do that with adults. Like how many dishes do we really need? How many dishes do you want to wash at night? Well, I only want to wash three. Great. Let's bring you down to six. So you can have three today and three tomorrow and then run the dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> so think about it. We only use the same two plates over and over again. Right. And we have a stack. We have a stack of blue. We have a stack of white and all for mostly pictures and stuff like that. Well, the other thing too is the older generation that grew up in the Great Depression where they didn't have enough. They want to have enough, so mm. they have enough dishes, and that way they have people over, everyone gets a dish. And their oh. mindset that if you only have four plates, then someone that comes over, there won't be enough food for them. So, so they have taken on some of that so, stuff then. So they get, generation. they make sure they have eight plates or 12 plates or 16 plates. That way anyone who comes over has plenty of food. It's all with the Great Depression and all that kind of stuff. Wow. So I kind of be like, great, we can keep a set of 16, but let's put most of it above the fridge for when you entertain. And your every day can be four or six plates, depending on how many you want to wash. I'm not saying to get rid of the china, even though we hardly use it. But just right. put the stuff you less use out of the way so that you can add excess the things you need right now without having to get through so much. That's funny. And then and then you don't even use those plates because when you have a party, it's usually outside in California or and with paper plates. You have the, or you <laughs> even get those fancy china plates from Costco that are plastic, plastic with the gold oh, yeah. trim and oh, everything. Yeah. And they come with their matching you want to get fancy, that's the cutlery, yeah. you know. But they'll still keep their their set of china just in case, just to have, just so that it, it for them it's symbolism. They didn't have enough during the depression, yeah. so they want to make sure that they have enough now. Even though, and then it just it just trip, ripples out of the enough. Like they have enough jackets, they have enough shoes, they have enough purses. No. It just keeps rippling out because they're still going back to that root issue of not having enough when they were a kid. They were a family of fifteen. They only had so many canned goods. They only had so much food. They only had so much work, and they that that hole never got filled. So once they right. became adults 
and they got money and even if they didn't have wealth but just every month every paycheck buying 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 having enough juice having enough coffee having enough mm -hmm. the staples and they just keep buying because they've never they've never healed Fill that the that hole and i think our generation picks up on that because it seems normal you see a stack of plates in a cupboard and that's just what you're used to seeing right so and then you just replicate so you just it replicate and do it over and over, and over and over again the cycle yeah crazy so that's that's a little insight nice well, let's get to it what, what else we got going on oh this looks like more of your mom's things Oh, um, those really are like one bag. These look like gift bags. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can get rid of those. I mean. So my only thing is that if you're going, hey, here's a cord. You're gonna need that cord. Ooh, yeah. It's yep. like gold. Electricity. Yep. My only so thing with the these kinds thing. of things is they have to be accessible, and you have to know. These look like link cards. Oh no, this is like a memorabilia box. This oh, is what? somebody's birthday card. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we might have to keep some of this. Yep, these are cards. Birthday cards. And, hey, you might need this. This looks... It's a magnifying glass. Is this for your mom? Is this so that you can do crafts with the magnifiers? Yeah, I think so. And then here's some more pictures. Oh, look. More pictures. Oh, my daughter. Oh, wow. You can't hide these away. Nope, we should put these up on the shelf over here. Sometime. Okay. You do all these pictures, huh? What do you want to do? With, you want to make like a little shoebox? Well, all of that, basically, when we moved the office, I just kind of threw things in drawers. And haven't gone through it, so. <laughs> well, I definitely want to keep the memorabilia cards and the memorabilia pictures in possibly a smaller container. But it doesn't make sense to have it in with the gift bags. That was just my concern. What do you, do you have like a little shoebox water really? Or maybe like a little, little, box. little box in the garage? Oh, and I see, oh, you guys have lots of birthday gift bags here. <laughs> We do this. Oh, you are loved. You are loved. These are cute too. You want any of this stuff? No, right. If anything, it should go in the recycle bin. And then this looks like more memorabilia and paperwork. Hmm. Baby's first seven years. This looks like 100% memorabilia. Oh, this maybe too big. Should... Too big for the big good? I think it's too big for that box. Some of these things. Because these are like full-size papers. Should we put this stuff in there? We could. Make that the memorable box? We could. Make that stuff. Are you guys blowing up your own balls and balloons? Yes, for parties. Okay. So we almost need a party section. Party section. You remember that tablecloth? Maybe this can go with that tablecloth for the party supplies. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey. That's you? That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you. He has your traits. Yep. Hey, here's another cord. More cords. It's like Oh my gosh. It's like cord heaven here. Oh look, the rubber band has disintegrated. And we're always looking for cords too. Is there another spot for cords? We usually like all the electrical usually goes down here. Okay, here's another one. Awesome. Now you're gonna have so many cords. I wonder if this is memorabilia. Oh this might be memorabilia. Someone's first ribbon. Maybe from their nursery? Oh, Does this look familiar? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was my son, K Rock's baby shower. Okay. So well. that's memorabilia stuff. Oh, it looks like your mom's gonna glue these. 
back together? <laughs> the 1984 Olympics. That's where these came from. Okay, is she gonna glue them back together? Let me see. She is still going to glue these back together someday. Okay, leave it in there. I want to talk about um, the maybe the, the layered concept. The layered concept? Yes. Okay. My clients at times feel that they have time later. Oh, to the do later things. concept, yes. And then later never happens. Later never will happen. So hear me <laughs> out. People feel that they have just 20 minutes to put aside to fix things. They'll do them later. But then they sit down, they watch TV, they make a meal, they scroll on their phone, and they never conveniently have 20 minutes to do this. We do that together. And so, uh, so although this is a later thing, I'm not going to rouse mom about this, but I uh, had a client about, oh man, eight, nine years ago. She was an artist and her kids, you know, would break things. And then she would hold on to their stray arm on the figurines and stray <laughs> other pieces to the figurines. And she had a whole box of all these things that had to be hot glued. So she's a mom, she's an art teacher, and she did a direct sale company. And so she felt she never had any time. So I texted her one night about 9.20, knowing that bedtime routine was done with the kiddos and it was her time. And so I'm like, hey, you got 20 minutes? And she goes, yeah, what do you want to talk about? I go, I want you to go glue those figurines. <laughs> Silence, didn't hear anything back from her, which I know she didn't do it. I was hoping, hoping that she was going and doing it. And so anyways, a couple weeks later, I come back to pick up her crib uh, for trash because she was trying to sell it and I knew it wouldn't sell. But so I said, if it doesn't sell in three weeks, I'm gonna come back for it and take it to the trash. Anyway, so I come back three weeks later and next to the crib is the box of broken things that she never actually did because when I called her out on it, she realized she Finally. wanted to spend those 20 minutes doing whatever else she wanted to do and gluing the, the arms back onto the figurines just wasn't something that she wanted to do. But she kept thinking if she had 20 minutes, she would do it. But when I called her out on it, she's like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go watch my Netflix or I'm gonna go take a shower or whatever she does during her mom time after the kids go to bed. I when I was like, okay, fine, go do it. And it was like, oh man, I'm never gonna do this. So it ended up outside with the crib. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's funny, I have a crib outside too. <laughs> That's out of my house. Oh yeah, they're so you can't donate them because of the re because of the liability attached to them. So I just end up turning them into gardening things. Oh wow. Hey, this is cute from Betty Boop. Oh, and it has some post-its in it. Oh, you would geez. never even know that you have these post-its. <laughs> I have another thing with post-its. Oh sweet. And then maybe this can go in the house. I think it held band-aids at some point. Cool. Okay. okay, so it looks like we're keeping these uh, nursery items. Yep. The, uh, yeah, first baby shower. Okay, and I'm gonna put the memorabilia of the um, the Olympic items in here. This looks like craft items, so I'm gonna yeah. go this way until we get over here. These are nail demo items. I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay. Nail demonstration stuff. Save this to my house. this relic this is a hard drive that's a hard drive wow who knows what's on there Give something the, from uh, 2010 yeah. or earlier yep and this is a modem my book is this another hard drive okay good Two hard drives so far. Is it something that can go in with the cords down here? Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to do it. 
I mean, at some point, you'll have to see what's on it. And use it. I could use it. Actually, archiving the podcast. And then is this yours? Yup. This looks a little old. This is old. I want to donate. Can we donate this? Yep, I totally can. Pull out all the expensive money and... and, well, there's, and it's definitely no money in here, for that's for sure. If it's mine, it's, there's no money in it. <laughs> <laughs> there's zero. And I found this cutting board. Is this that's for... Nice that's for shows. Oh, it's for shows. So oh, it has you on it. Yeah, so when we do, like, uh, cooking shows in here, yeah. we use that. Oh, look at this. My birth certificate. No, just kidding. Vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, ribbons and craft stuff. Ah, craft stuff. That was open because I think I used the food or something. Okay, I'll put it more towards your craft stuff. I want to finish the dog side. Okay, I got this empty. Nice. See, wow. So we have a container. So, what do we think? about putting like jackets and all their little stuff there oh, and awesome. yeah this is actually fun yeah okay so. what's the difference between this food and the food that's in here it's the same oh so i think that uh maybe this is this old needs to be refilled okay if this is the same food right mom serving it, you yeah. want to mix them all up in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is Juice's Sensitive Dog Food. Jackets. Okay, so that grooming means supplies probably never get used. So the grooming supplies are going to go on the bottom shelf. Nice. And would you say these um, cleansing cloths could also be considered grooming, or do you just need them? Grooming. Okay. Yeah, grooming. will go on the middle shelf. Okay. You want them a certain way? You want them pulled? No, you can just stuff them in there. Yeah. Just treat it like you would be doing it. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's the problem. <laughs> I was like, do something. Um, well, I like it to be realistic based on people on how they shove things in. There's only it's only when I'm making content that uh, I do it all pretty folded or anything. Oh man, I bet people love your content because you have such great ideas on it and concepts on how to just stay organized. Okay, and then this needs to be shook outside or something. Okay. <laughs>
you could even. Okay, that's going to go on top. Cool. And I'm still going to have um, the food be on this stool. Right there. Okay. Here are your toys. Nice. Okay. Let's get already. <laughs> so I've made uh, labels even? labels that say leashes and bags. Now this is twofold. So this is so everyone can do their part to put it back and so that you know where to, when you get new stuff in from the grocery store or whatever, you know where it goes. So it's not like a surprise, like I don't know which one it goes in. So the top drawer I made to be leashes and bags, which is where their leashes and poop bags are. Okay, the next one is jackets, so that in the morning when it's super cold, it's supposed to rain this weekend, now you know where their jackets are. Okay, and the bottom one is grooming supplies. And the reason why I left it generic is it could be different things. It could be their brush, it could be their wipes, it could be their spray, it could be anything related to grooming. I don't like to micro-organize, but macro-organize. Nice. So, can we do a zoom in or yeah, a walk let's in? Yeah, go in here. So I just wanted to show the bags, wow. leashes. In there. Here's your jacket. And here is your grooming supplies. Beautiful. And then here's toys on top. Now here's the only thing that's going to happen is sometimes you'll walk in the door and you're going to plop the leash in here or the poop mm. bag in here and you're going to call it a day. Yeah. So someone has to regulate you and remind you, hey, it goes back in the drawer. That'll be the kids. The kids are great at regulating us. <laughs> and, and that's the unfortunate thing. If it's not important to you, it won't be important to you. If yeah. you are mindful of putting things back, then things will get put back. I can organize till the cows go home but I can't be your mother and regulate you. We have to keep we have to keep good habits. That's going to start hopefully so, start good habits. So this is a little start of good habits so that you can just know where everything is. This also helps the family be involved with putting everything back. Now that everything's labeled and has a home, then it's like setting the standard. Oh, yeah. So that everyone can do their part and there's no winding up. I don't know where to put it. I'm just going to find an empty random spot that you'll never find again. <laughs> exactly. So. Now, I think it's funny how sometimes kids are actually better at, at wanting organization and structure than, than adults. Well, I think for them, they come into a house that's already set up a certain way and they don't know where they belong. So they don't know what to do. So they just kind of mimic what their family is doing. So if their family's just opening drawers and cramming things in, then they're going to start opening drawers and cramming things in because there hasn't been any rules or boundaries or standards set. Right. So this is kind of the beginning. That's that's it. It's awesome. I love it. I so, love it. Okay. Back to our arts and craft land. See, I right away put away my stuff, also because it sometimes grows legs, but... Even the I, tools that you use for the, like the P-Touch and the cartridges and everything. Yeah, I keep them all together and I right away clean up my mess, so to speak. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what these bags are and if they're crafting related or if they're, oh, you know what? They're their stuff. Oh, it's the, the lights, bags for this. Like bags. Hmm. What do you think about this type of stuff? 
Yeah. I don't think you need it unless you're traveling. I don't, yeah, I don't do weddings. <laughs> so, right. Should I just toss it? Or recycle it or whatever? That's my only thing, is if we get rid of it, you know you're going to need it in two days. Yeah. <laughs> if I move. So I don't, I don't feel do like you need, like, an equipment bin. Is that, is that anything that sounds I generally familiar? use this area, but it's mixed with... Set other crafting supplies. Other pencils, pins, office supplies. Stables, office supplies. So I think for my mom, this is an office supply. And, and for, for me, you. it's the this stuff. Maybe we could just put it in this bag. This is this bag is where I travel with with uh, when I do on site stuff. Okay, then I think the travel bag would be the <laughs> Look at this paper. And you'll see some Easter eggs that I've done. Oh, nice. Look for those Easter eggs, guys. Yeah, this will be the travel bag. Because the next thing I want to tackle is this craft corner, labeling them as well. So your mom can find things and it doesn't look so scary. This looks like paperwork. Should I stick it in a memorabilia? Um, yeah, I guess. What do you think? Yeah, that's a thing that we have is what do you think about these days talk to me about most documents most insurance documents house documents all the stuff is online do we need to have the physical yeah. copies yes. as well yes okay okay a hundred percent there's a couple different legacy websites where you can put like your passwords in and that kind of stuff the problem is is no one tells anyone that the legacy exists mm. so having a backup paper kind of master plan that has your passwords has um, how to pay the mortgage how to pay different things mm. left behind for the next people to take over is vital the problem is it takes time yeah. to to gather all the information type it up make a binder use a service whatever that's the the problem remember the 20 minutes yeah. to deal with the... this is that stuff that that stuff okay that's where we're going to run into is like a lot of this kind of like stuff that needs to be filed in like a big cabinet somewhere really um yeah we did. Yeah. oh you have that thing in the corner what's that that's full of uh you start well yeah this is the bottom's paper top is the start of like filing this stuff but it's already full this bottom is full you don't want to see what's in here this is like cardstock photo paper well that's definitely that should go into some of these things and we label them but i also feel like it's a whole different session because it's paper is yeah. a whole different animal for me because i oh, have to, okay. i sort it by year and then I like if it's bills and stuff, then we box up old bills, and then wow. we talk about shredding, and then the shredding services that I offer, and and that kind you of have stuff. To do that. So there's it's like a whole different animal, and this yeah. is this is this is objects and items, and this is paperwork, yes. and it's a whole different time. I get thing. it. So you offer that type of service, and you have you have a specific uh, bill out for that and stuff like that. Uh, so typically, uh, when I do like home offices, I go through and just start. It's it, I just go through and I usually people have home offices um, where all of they don't even have their own business per se. It's just their home paperwork. Yeah. And so I have to go through and I first sort by year and then I sort by vendor and then I even get file folders and put it all into banker boxes by year. Nice. And then that way, at least it's set up to go to the garage or go to the storage unit or go somewhere. And then I even set up the current year with the file folders and Ooh, everything. Boy. And then um, like I clear off their desk and make an inbox. And then I also teach that when you, when you walk in the door with your new mail, you right away throw out your junk mail. You open up and you pay right bills right then and there online through your phone. And then you can then take it to your home office to be filed for current stuff. That's awesome. And so it's it's again it's a it's you it's a mindset. Most people walk in the door jumbled. They throw down their mail. They throw down their groceries and they go do their stuff. And then they never go back to here. Right. So how do you make the connection from here to the home office? 
So that's why I set up with a little trash can, like a waste basket side for the junk mail to go right in, open up and pay whatever bills need to be paid right then and there. And then if it sits on that front entryway, at least there's nothing like slipping through the tracks or, or getting past due. At least it can sit there as long as it wants until it makes it over to the home office. And then from there, you're just opening the file folder, putting in your Edison bill, putting in, you know, medical stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's, 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 it's more of a process that takes more time and more yeah. training. I typically go back three months later and do a refresher, only discover a big pile by the front door again. <laughs> and, but at least they've at least thrown away their junk mail and paid bills. So wow. now I'm just scooping it up, walking it over to the home office, opening it up, and then talking about other things. Like, hey, I noticed that this said past due a bunch of times. Are you not paying the bills right then and there? Oh, no, I've been forgetting. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're just burning money on a, a late charge fees. But hey, you know, let's take care of it. So it's, it's a little bit more coaching. It's a little more reminding. And it's a little more just changing the habit of just... It's, it, in 2015, I had don't put it down, put it away. And then I kind of lost that. That was like the whole 2015 branding. So, but, it, but now it, there's so much more involved with how much mental load we have and how much uh, capacity we have with our social battery. Sure. So a lot of things get put down because we're maxed out. And sure. I can't, and it's not a scold, but I can't say, it's like when your mom, you, like, it's like when you mess up and your mom says, I told you so, but that's not the support that you wanted with mom. <laughs> so I can't say, oh, you put this down and you didn't put it away because you're at the end of your social battery. Like, to me, that sounds like a scolding, I told you so. Yeah, you can't so, only push them too far, right? Right. So then I just say, great, I'm just going to make all these refresher services where I come back and refresh spaces for them. And you got to pay so, for that. And they have to pay for it. So there's <laughs> so a consequence. That help. So there's a consequence, but yeah. for some people, when their social battery is maxed out and they just put things down, it is easier for them to pay. Like it's different, mm -hmm. their payment is different. They don't feel so exhausted or guilty, they just keep me on retainer. Nice, awesome, so that's a service you offer. Right. Those services are online on your website? Yeah, I have them on my website on my in-person services. Um, cool. And then uh, every now and then I pop up with a monthly membership on my social media where like I think I have a highlight called memberships oh, cool. and so people can do their own refresher where on the first of the month um, I charge their credit card through HoneyBook through an e-invoice oh, so thing. So it's just automated. It's automated. It's a, a membership it's, type service. It's a membership where they get six hours for a certain price and it's billed on the first of the month and then I come back anytime they want me to. Oh that my month. god I'm gonna talk my mom into getting that office service because that's something off camera that you do it's like right very I mean, cool it's, private and, and that's game. a tough one yeah. to film too because i don't want anyone no. seeing this yeah it's, i'm it's glad we talked about it. out on your part <laughs> yeah exactly yeah no we, we won't film that part but we will definitely uh, talk to my mom about buying that because like i definitely great, feel that awesome having service. different like photo paper here is more the better space of yeah. this Thank you. like you like we don't need this rose taking up a whole drawer oh jeez. what <laughs> this, this is no matter what is out. Oh, and this looks like it's part of um your mounting stuff. So I kind of want to add this yep. to your bag. So if you want to grab photo paper, this is an easy grab. Hold on, I got a bug in here. These things come out. I'm gonna vacuum that up. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I see what's happening. They have spacers on them, so you can't pull them. Out. Here, I'll get a vacuum. So it just needs a vacuum suck out. And then I can put a label on it, and then we know that's where photo paper is. Wow. And hopefully your mom can come out here and craft and just feel so nice. Yeah. Should be crafty. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for letting us be here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, 
this is another cord drive hub? Yeah, it's like a hub, USB hub. Do you use that still? That feels like old technology to me. Yeah, I have a newer one actually. This is probably no good anymore. So the other thing is I also take e-waste too. So put it in with the donation pile. Okay. Oh, I found another cord thing, another hub, an LG, something or other. It's wow. dusty. There's another thing that probably goes with it. Oh, yeah, this takes you to a uh, monitor. Good. Now there's tape. Batteries. I'm coming across batteries too. Is that a U thing, part of electronics, or just? Yeah, but I have a suitcase for batteries, believe it or not. Oh, good. Yeah, let me get to that. Check this out. You like this? Oh, I've seen those. I've seen those. <laughs> here, here they are. I don't know if they're good or not. You have to test them. Also, what about little night light uh, bat lights? Christmas stuff or trash? I think it's a night light. No, no, no. That goes to my lamp. It's, oh. Um, yeah, they're extras. Got it. Where's the lamp? I don't know. She pointed this way. <laughs> the, bra the brown one? Right. Do we still have that lamp? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I use it because it's a good light to have. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I just was curious. Do we have other places where light bulbs go, like in the garage yeah, or in the, the room? Garage. Or? No, actually, because the lamp is there somewhere, and I don't oh. want to lose those. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because okay. then when I'm looking for them, I'll know where they're at. Okay, we got photo paper for you, and I'm working on labeling each of these. Behind, behind you is uh, photo paper. More? In this drawer, right? No, no, no. Behind her. This way? In here? On that record, where the records are. That shelf, the third shelf down. Oh, this stuff? Yes. More photo paper? Yes. Okay. Oh, I think we should put it all together. I'm seeing all these little shell creations. Are these made, made from you? No, we got them when we went on a cruise. Oh, okay. Well, I've been relocating them over there. I just want to keep everything together so you can find them. I just don't know if you're going to find them over here with the picture frame. <laughs> you almost need a week here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are plans about me moving in. <laughs> And I'll just take over a space at a time. <laughs> in the past, I actually have tried to do like live-in nanny stuff where I could move, live in and be their home organizer, uh -huh. like a house manager organizer. Oh, yeah. But no one wanted to give me free rent with our housing. Everyone, you know, would rather pay, have me pay rent and not yeah. be their home organizer that oh lives with them. Which I felt like it was a missed opportunity on their part. Yeah. Okay, I found scented eraser valentines. <laughs> Are we sure it's trash? I mean, we're gonna use it. Oh, and I found stickers in a bin. Oh, these so are all stickers. these are like, yeah, these are like giveaways. Even this stuff is giveaways. Who are we giving them away? Are we getting so, like, are you gonna give them to um, Joel, sure. Mr. Corona, for his 1,800 users? There you go, are you, are you gonna see him? No, I won't oh, be okay. seeing him anytime soon, sorry. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I only know if it's Mr. Corona. Mr. Corona. These are tacos. These are not for you. These are for, these are for me. Oh, I'm sure they are. Tacos. Let me put them right here. Maybe. Oh, there's another vacuum. Hey, there's another vacuum out here. Yeah, but that one's just, that one's crappy. Crappy? Like we're going to get rid of it crappy? Or we're going to uh, no, uh, yeah. make it, make it yeah, yeah, we can get rid of it. It doesn't work. Right? It doesn't work. It doesn't. It sucks because it doesn't suck. I used to use it in the RV. 
Oh, you guys have an RV? I love organizing yeah, RVs. We had one. We had. Oh, I added it to my website the other day. I thought, okay, we need to organize some yachts and some RVs. So I'm going to add it to my services. Mm -hmm. Big business. Yeah, it can go uh, with the donation pile or out next to my truck, wherever is easier for you. Okay, this is equipment. You're not getting rid of my lamp. Oh no, we're not getting rid of the lamp. I were just relocating it because I wasn't sure where it went. It's going to come back out here. Well, originally this was going to be my craft room, okay? I know. Things, so, somebody took it over. Things don't always go as we planned. No, I have another table that can go in here too. Oh, really? Like, how big is the table? It's for crafting. Could it go against this wall? It's wide. Oh. I mean, it has one of those to lift. Oh, they lift up and down so that you can stand no. for your craft? No, how could I explain it? It's a table, but it has a table, like a table, a piece of attached to it that you can raise to make the table longer. I've seen those in um, Michael, like sewing rooms and Michael, stuff. Yeah, exactly. I, I really like them. Yeah, and it's been in the garage for like two years because somebody took over my room. Well, I, I can't, uh, I can't get involved with <laughs> family decisions. <laughs> I've been on, I've moved 32 times and I've been on my own all of those times. And I've rented apartments 28 of those times, three times moved home, and then one time bought a condo. I don't, I don't encourage people to buy anything like property like that. Our condo is such a nightmare. Uh, if I buy again, it's not going to be in California at all. And it's not going to have an HOA. <laughs> oh, crayons! And look at this cool little jack o' lantern! That's my cable. That's we my need to have this on display. You're never going to find it and mixed in with stuff. That stuff there is him. Well, that's because he's not an organizer, <laughs> no, he's, not. he's a mover. Okay, premium ink cartridges. Oh, oh, I don't think those ink cartridges go to the printer house. No, they're old. Okay. You can dump them. Uh, so let's, let's put it in with the e-waste. Okay. Because I'll drop it off. E-waste. With the cords. Uh, you're getting rid of Bubba's mm -hmm. blocks? But we're going to keep the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to decide which has more value. Jeez. Trash. Here's a notebook. Oh, belongs to you. Sorry, I saw a couple pages. <laughs> I tried. Oh, these not. are my questions, yeah. Oh, those are your questions? Yeah, so when I do shows. But you had that other notebook. Why yeah, do you have two I have notebooks? Three, actually. Not, uh, I'm, I'm bad. I have three. Okay, this looks like something we used when we used to type with our next to our computers. Yeah. Do we use this still? I don't use it. Recycle. No. Donate it. There's donate. someone out there that donate. will want it. What are you donating? This one right here. Well, we have to get her approval. I don't want to get in trouble. What is this? Oh, this looks like part of your mic stand, too. It's a little dusty. It's been a while. I'm going to put it here with your cutting board. Like a mic stand? Oh, yeah. No? Dusty? You haven't used it in a while. Does it donate? Yeah, I think we're going to donate this to, to the church. Okay, this looks like more of your supplies, Mom. Yes, it is. It's actually gift bags, ribbons, tissue. Tissue, yes. Okay, the middle drawer is not closing, so I'm just trying to investigate the problem as to why it's not. Another bag. Oh, hey, the wheels. But, oh, it's the wheels to this. Do we not want the wheels? Well, I didn't, at that time, I didn't. One, two, three. 
Where's the fourth I think one? That's why we were missing one. Oh, so we're hoping it will show up again. Oh, here's ribbon. Let me move some of this ribbon around. Oh, more tissue. So I'm just going to label these for you so that you know what's in it. But I'm still. Oh, this is more stamps. That's why this is so heavy. I couldn't figure out why. More stamps. Okay. I think because they didn't fit in the other end. Yeah, they don't fit into this yeah, thing. In the end of the thing. Okay, hold on. We didn't get that. Sun's coming in there. Well, also, I think some of this was being blocked by it. Okay. What's this cardboard? Is this for school board. projects? Yeah, school projects. Um, in the garage. Well, I mean, I can keep them here. And slide them on the side. Here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm sliding it with the side here. Oh, wait. Seeing something important, a clipboard from 1986. <laughs> need the clipboard. The clipboard. Crafting. We're gonna need a desk here on uh, aisle four here next to the. Floor. All right. You think it's a vacuum cleaner? Uh, I think it's like a. Towel. I'll grab my label maker. This is so much fun. This is like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> you you enjoy this? Yes. This is all new. This is new for me. Yeah. Bags and tissue. Okay, stamps. Oh. Tissue, uh, stamps. Yeah, his little thing. Where's your record player? Uh, my daughter has it in her room. You have all these records. Yep. And and the player isn't even out here, so you can enjoy it. We don't even. Yeah, I don't know when. When. Oh, I need the Let's rags see. again for the front of this. Yeah. Okay, well, you're in trouble already. I'm moving. Should I scold him for you? 
Well, actually, it was his wife. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to get involved with that. That's kind of... I don't that one you don't want to mess with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the front of it part, yeah. Okay, ribbons is right here. Of the top part right there, see how that is? It just happens, just setting it with like a lip. Yeah, these things are great. Have you seen how you can make them taller by taking this lip off and putting more of the same? Oh, you can? Yeah, you can make them any size you That's want. That's why I had them in the office, but then when I came over here, I said, well, there's a lot of space. Got it. Well, I've done it with um, some uh, walk-in closets where um, the, the way the things are, you can make these four high and they fit perfectly in the closet. Because people will have three of them, like, oh, there's all this unused space. And then, so I still have like three of them lined up. And so then I'll take apart one and make it like four high. And they're like, mind blown. <laughs> and I'm like, you didn't know you could stack them? <laughs> they become expensive too in these stores. Yeah, I pick mine up at Walmart or uh, Target, depending on who has it in stock. But I definitely try to reuse things before buying new, just in general. I've actually um, been this way for a long time, where we just reuse what we already have before we run out and buy new. Because typically, you already have sufficient enough, it's just not being utilized well. So, um, so, but it's hard because on social media, everyone uh, likes looking at videos of brand new packaging and all matching colored things. And, and so it hurt my little heart to have to do those things because I don't do those things in real life. My, my biggest um, thing, uh, it, I went viral a couple of years ago uh, for a video where we took water bottles and put them in a plastic a container on their side and then it goes into the fridge. I kid you not, people started commenting that I was the reason why we had global warming and plastic waste. <laughs> I had over like 800,000 views within a couple of days and so many people commented that because of my content, I was the reason for global warming. And then people were liking that comment and then going to other uh, videos and ripping me apart. And I thought mm. to myself, I don't even use water bottles. I have a reverse osmosis system in my kitchen. And mm. I just, I don't even have, I bought this stuff for content. I don't even do this. <laughs> so I turned off the comments and it was like totally like heartbroken that this was the assumption. Well, you got views. <laughs> Well, and I went viral and I got all these followers, but the thing was is it hurt my heart to make this content for content. So slowly I have been revamping all my content to be in glass, uh, reusing stuff, uh, eco swaps and stuff. And so I kind of have come out as a low waste organizer where I reuse all the things we have before buying new. Well, I've been doing this for 25 years this way, but on social media, we almost have to have a front, you know? And I thought oh, to myself, yeah. I don't want this front anymore. I just want everyone to know that I recycle everything and I reuse. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you even take the water, the wine and put it like, instead of having a big wine bottle in the refrigerator, you have like a little container with a spout. I seen that on your, on your thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my uh, external drives, right? Yeah. Oh, they're your external mm -hmm. drives. I thought they were his no, external drives. They're mine. And oh. They used to be connected to my computer until somebody unconnected them. Oh. There you don't have a computer. <laughs> Why? Because you put your computer. No, but where? No, you had a computer. What happened to that computer? Well, we got rid of it. Yeah, it was a stand up. Yeah. yeah, you don't have a computer. Yeah. But you can still connect them somehow to the to get them on the screen because they've got pictures and stuff. Yeah, you, you, these are good. Well, I was gonna put them with all. You said this one's for here. here. Yeah, that one's got terabytes. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use this one. The only thing is, I have a Mac and for like PCs. Well, I was thinking I they think would. I used it with my Mac. Store there. Yeah. I think so. Well, that's perfect then. If it has the Mac driver. 
Yeah, don't no, we're gonna anything. find so we're gonna find a place for that. Don't erase anything. Yeah, it happened on another post too where we put downy unstoppables into a glass uh, container and it got like three hundred thousand views within like an hour or something, something ridiculous. And I don't even use downy unstoppables. I don't even use softener. I don't even use um dryer sheets like I, I never have like to me it's just a marketing thing but right away oh my gosh you use downy unstoppables those fragrance things mess up your uh immune system blah 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 i was like oh wow. my god we've all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> stop well, you're getting comments that's a good thing <laughs> i know it's good for the algorithm but it hurts my heart that i don't even use i only bought the downy unstoppables for the content <laughs> Not real. There's more little pieces of trash. Okay. I'm gonna see about putting these in here. Okay, so I need to make an executive decision and your permission. Since we only found three and it's too heavy with the rubber, can we get rid of the wheels? Okay. Yeah. I got the blessing. Yeah. I got the nod. Got the nod. <laughs> If you're going to keep those stamps in there, they're going to be too heavy and break the wheels anyways. Uh, where did the um, paper towel or rag go? Yeah, just going to clean the top here. And I'm going to label this one too. Looks better already, huh? Oh, oh. I found your travel bin. <laughs> These are all your little samples. Yeah. I'm actually a lot of it. Probably... Trash. Can I give it to you to clean out on your table? Sure. Pass it along, please. When I went in there the other day, I said I got to clean this out. Well, later showed up with me and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> good. If we can put other office supplies or something in there, that would be good. That would be great. Awesome. See, the sunshine. Dude, the lights coming in like crazy. Where'd all the light come from? I think it was being blocked by this <laughs> stuff. There's a pile there. Okay, what is this? Oh, this looks like more crafting supplies, possibly stickers. Oh, you know what? This is party. I can see. Party? Uh, There's like uh, banners in here. Mm -hmm. There's stickers. There's happy birthday, like this is a decor. Look, here's another banner. I was just gonna label it party, supplies. party craft, because that's what it looks 100%. So the next okay. party you have, at least you guys can come over here and use it. Are you back in this area for me? Sure. <laughs> She's going through the travel. Here is these two little pieces. Now I'm going to get into this just to make it look. I'm just going to put like items together okay. and label. Um, there's some drawers I'm not going through because it's mail, and I'm just going to label it mail. Okay, cool. Because that's going to fall under paperwork day, which is not today. Nice. <laughs> but at least you guys will know what it is. And that way when paperwork day, we need to move it over? No, get rid of this. Yeah, anything that you already know. Trash, pretty much. I 
there's much left to do. After this, we're hitting the three spots I wanted to hit. Nice. Uh, the only thing that bothers me <laughs> is this up here. Okay, I'll so, with that. Hold on. So with clutter, typically when your eye rolls over something, things that are up on top of stuff is what bothers you. They're your pain points. Mm. So I try to address things on top of things to eliminate it and then even just looking over it it's it looks better there's more light coming in your eye doesn't see it uh. so after i work on the cart here and label stuff that's the only thing i want to finish is this top and okay. this top this is all like giveaway wrap stuff we use for raffles from shows okay is there a better place that it can be no we can make, we can make another one okay more light bulbs so at least they're all together now oh okay a screen protector for your um phone from the 80s <laughs> i just didn't know what category it went into or if i have to make a category no this is not going to be any good how much bigger it is than my phone. <laughs> <It's not laughs> the old phones. Any other questions that I can answer? Um, let's see what, I have. what is this hidden treasure? Oh, this is like is that, a, is that a dusting glove? No, this is like a costume I think my son made or something. So yeah. So close. I think that's it. Those are the questions I had. Some of the questions I had were like, how, like, you love doing organization, right? But do you have any, what, what other hobbies? I see you do like little menu, you have like a mini fridge and like mini, yeah. is oh, that, the is mini that, fridge. Is that a hobby of yours? No, it's a content thing. Oh, okay. Here's more cords. <laughs> wow. And here's a, a plug-in for maybe your microphone. Yep. I like playing this game of guessing what things are. I'm pretty accurate, except for when you get me into a woman's, uh, uh, a bathroom with a lot of skincare products. I don't know what a lot of like bronzers and <laughs> highlighters are. I haven't even had to Google what things are just to make sure they end up in the right category in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't wear any makeup and I don't wear anything on my face like moisturizer. I don't take any kind of, I don't use any of that. I don't have it and I don't use it. <laughs> so when you go in the bathroom, like, oh man, I'm not. So I walk into like a, a primary bathroom with like, bronzer and this and that and everything and I'm like what is this and I'm so slow because I don't know what anything is so oh I end up having gosh. to ask or do google and I get a couple of uh, you know exasperation like you don't know what this is and I'm like am I supposed to 
<laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, well, do you use this? And I go, no. <laughs> and they're like, how, how come you don't use this? And I go, because I don't need it. So I don't use it. I don't have it. <laughs> Do we need a box for anything? A little gift box? I do, I think. Hold on. Uh, so, your crayons. Ooh, there you go. Oh, too tall. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you were too. You were like, what? Yeah. need something just a tad shallower than this. Oh, it's shallower. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
natural on. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, these, see how these things work? I see, I see. Well, what, do you, what do you think about that? I think you can. I mean, I want it to be accessible for you. Yeah, because they're like stuck in that corner. Huh? This is going on great. I'm very excited. I think. Yeah, this, dude, this is amazing. I keep having to rub my arms because my goosebumps keep going off. <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think you would get, I, I mean, I imagine it would be clean, but this is amazing. And we can't go, I don't want you to go free, like, you did, there's no way you can finish this in one, no way. No, but, but I mean, is, I hit, I'm hitting all the pain points. Yes, 100%. Mm. One more question. Yes, ma'am. No, sorry, Mom. Where is your luggage? The garage. So answer me this. When you pull out your luggage, would you come in here for this travel? Or should we keep this in the garage next to your luggage? Or you don't want to keep it in the garage? No, it's too hot there. Too dirty? That's another. So that's a, like so another. That's another service. Project. So my actual favorite thing to do is garages. I hardly do inside the house. You wouldn't believe how many garages I do. But they are a longer process. Yes. Yes. So, well, hear me out. So, like, when you go to grab your luggage, will you remember to come here oh, to your craft yeah. group? Okay. Yeah. That's. That's the thing, I don't want to change your Because routine. I have in my travel bag, mm -hmm. I have certain items that I take all the time. And, and then you're going to swap something. out with this. I'll okay, well, I'm going to label it and yeah. put it with your craft stuff, but I just yeah. want you to, I, if you don't ever come into this room and you, oh, no, your bedroom don't. would be a suitable place yeah. or the garage, then yeah, I you don't put all it all together. Because I'd have to throw it up on top of the closet. Okay, yeah, I want it to be easy for you. Yeah. That's the job. No, that's right. fine. Okay. Let me label this. And I found this cute thing that used to be on your desk. You want it on your desk again? It's in that little bowl. Oh, it takes everything off your desk. Well, we do it have, used to be mine. I have oh. a memorabilia in that. Oh, put it in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, it's something to keep. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's going to work. Mm -hmm. And we need her for it. That you go to Frederick. That's right. That's why you think, look at my signs on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Her signs still on the desk. But <laughs> so just take the top stuff off. <laughs> well, I have snuck some Sometimes things. Sometimes it's in the shop. I have snuck some things back onto your desk that you will notice later. <laughs> or Easter eggs. Yes, I call them Easter eggs where I've done different things in front of the camera. Like, yes. <laughs> and my facial expressions are priceless. <laughs> nice. See, that's making him organize his stuff. Yeah, she's kicking me so in the I butt. So I kind of like I become this. you, but in a different regurgitation, because yeah. he can just be like, later, Mom. And I'm yeah. like, later doesn't exist. I've showed up. Yep. <laughs> he has to do day. it right now. He has to do it. Today's the day. This is way overdue. I'm going to call this travel. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> you even have to take out your records. Yeah. And uh, these Account are accountability time. Air pops for the podcast. Okay. You're gonna be proud of me. I'm gonna donate these to Rockward. Rockward is a rapper who just started his own podcast, and I'm gonna need to donate these to him tomorrow. Okay. So give these away. Cool. That sounds good to me. as big as my fonts get, but hopefully, I can see it. okay.
this looks like uh, the box for one of those things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or it could be another one. Yeah, it's another one. Oh, cool. Wow. So we'll give those away. Give this away tomorrow. Okay. I think this is an extra light bulb for this. Okay, so we have part of the crafts. That's what this looked like to me, Mom. What is it? What do you say? Yeah. Oh, okay. did you make a paper flower? No, that's the one that's in a can. He didn't throw that away. Did? What can? One of my grandkids. A green can. It was, it was a can wrapped in green paper. It was on the windowsill. Oh, let me see. I think it might be over there. Oh, I see it now. One of my kids went. Right here. Yes, that's where that goes. So this goes in it? Yeah, with that other one. Isn't there another one? Oh no, it was a green one. Oh, that's okay. He probably threw it away. But Sorry. it's fine if it goes in there. Yeah, what am I trying I say, you know, the parents don't keep stuff, but the grandma does. Well, I've moved so many times that things like this doesn't make the cut because I have to be uh consolidate stuff. yes I have to consolidate stuff so I have a very Did small you know a, a can like that one wrapped in green paper no you missing a can with green paper it's like this but it's green it's and it had green like paper. green tissue paper on it no. it was over here in this you area. saw it she that's what she said oh, so. oh you saw it though no she's describing oh. it to me and she wants to know what happened to the green can. Oh, that's okay. That one, just so long as that one's in. No, it wouldn't be in there. No, it's all the cruise stuff. Mm. Oh, this is you, your fishing trip. What is it? Uh, fishing trip with Karen. Jimi Hendrix CD. These are 45s. What's what's in here? 50th anniversary. I think it's just an empty container to use. For I feel like it's for parties, maybe with the chafing dish stuff. Ooh, this is a con oh, see that stuff up there? That's party stuff in the sense that uh, David and Chris bought that so that we could mix party like drinks. Stuff? Okay. To mix drinks. I don't know. But it doesn't put, fit in the kitchen. Does it, okay, we don't have a party oh, supply. Oh, you know what? Maybe up on top where the big roaster is. On the top. I think it should be with other party supplies because if you go to use it, you're not well, going to come. That's basically where our big oven and um, making drinks. Making drinks, cooking stuff. But okay. It's a, but the cupboard is a. It's full of big stuff. Got it. This this has um, camera stuff. This, so it's a These are record sleeves. Sushi, Caleb. Oh, so here's Jimi Hendrix and some other random CDs. So scratched. Oh, look, we can see sunshine and everything. <laughs> oh, I keep holding these little pieces of trash that I find. <laughs> Clean the top of this off. I'm still, I'm still okay with keeping it. I just want to stick out and bother me. So I can look inside it again. You don't need these for pins or pencils or anything? I think we do. Where did this go? Definitely. Oh, 
I see you're supposed to put pictures in here. This is so 1996. Oh, and I found your eyeglass uh, cleaner things. Should I put this in with travel? So we still have to find a home for your things. Do you want to put everything up there? Which which kind of which things? Your oh uh, yeah gear. Yeah, I the guess, microphone. The... Yeah, that's the that's what usually the uh, extra mic section up there. What do you think about the poster board? Should I put it behind or should I put it side? My only problem with the side is it sticks out. Yeah. Okay, but I don't want you to forget about it either. So I'll put this one on the side, and then this one can go back here. What do we, what do we think, Mom? Did I get all craft stuff? So did I get your approval? No, that's fine. I'd show you all my boxes of pictures and stuff in the closet. Well. <laughs> I have organized pictures before, and here's my take on it. it you're, what you keep has to leave, tell a story. Because for example, you're gonna know all your aunts and uncles, but your kids won't. So it, it, you have to take the time to label and set up the story or the legacy, because when you pass, if there's no context, they're not gonna know. So I uh, worked with a client, uh, gosh, I worked for with a client for, I want to say two months where I went over to her house once a week for four hours. We did a card table. We went through pictures and we told the life of her grandpa or great grandpa maybe, I don't know. But we looked by his hair and his clothes and matched up the pictures. And we could see that he went to his house or maybe his grandparents house or someone's house and he would stand in front of it every couple of years. And we could tell by his haircut, his nose, different things. And then we put all of his pictures together in a case similar to that's, this, but it didn't have the inside. I bought those four. That's, oh, that's why they're empty? They're, yeah. They're, they're, they're four pictures. But how we set it up is we put like the grandpa's name and then put all the pictures in there. They weren't organized, they were just confined as Grandpa Steve or whatever his name was. And we had from birth all the way up to his passing all in here, even his memorial paperwork and that kind of stuff that was at the funeral or the memorial. And we just had it all in there. That way when her sons inherit the pictures, at least they have Grandpa already sorted and put together, but no like rhyme or reason. We didn't put it in a book. We didn't organize it. We just put him all together. And the thing that she discovered is that she had multiple pictures of various family members yeah. and we mailed them to different people in an envelope of their whole life. And the thing we deleted or threw out, which we felt guilty about, especially me, um, was landscape photos because they're just landscape. We can go to the internet, get pictures of Yosemite or anything. <laughs> And we went through the birthday pictures, and I know you know what I'm talking about. When you're at a birthday party, you take pictures of everyone at the tables. And they're not always family. Sometimes they're neighbors. Sometimes they're church family. And sometimes they're your youth group. Well, the thing is, is if you, there's no context, no one knows who's in the pictures. So they're just random people sitting at a table. So we went through and we trashed all the pictures of just random people at the table from the 70s. She had no idea who they were. We could tell by their outfits and the furniture that it was like 1977. So she's like, I don't know who these people are. For all I know, they could have been from church. They could have been neighbors. They could have been anyone. She didn't recognize anyone. So to take that guilt off of her children, we just threw them out. We put them in the recycle bin because when she passes and her kids inherit her pictures, 
they're not going to know these people from 1977. They weren't even alive yet. <laughs> that was probably boxes and boxes of stuff. I guess. So how it worked out is she had a whole bedroom filled with slides, film on here, the, the these reels. Uh, we had she had bins of these crammed. The whole room was the memorabilia room. Well, it was so depressing, she just cl closing the door because she had no desire. So like I said, we broke it into pieces. We worked for four hours. We would take out like a whole drawer, spread it out, pick out people. We had we had little post-its with each person's name on it. And I would review it too and go, look, this his hair, it's the same. And I go, okay. She goes, oh yeah, that's Grandpa Steve. And I go, okay. So we... So I helped, even though I didn't know these people, but I could I could find um, matching things, like parameters, like hair and clothes and backgrounds. I'm like, this looks like Italy, because we had other pictures of Italy. So I'm like, this looks like Italy. Look, there's that olive tree in the background. So I could find the like items, even though I didn't know these people. Anyways, in the end, we got it all condensed to these kinds of bins, and we stacked them in the closet. They were all labeled, all figured out. She turned that bedroom into a drum room. She has a full drum set, and she goes there and plays. Drums? Yes. <laughs> That's cool. I never knew she would have that. But anyways, it's now her inspiring room because all the pictures have been handled, and her sons are in their mid-20s, so they're still like getting their careers together and living in apartments. They don't want this pa these pictures, yeah. but it's ready that everyone has a name and they're already sorted. We got rid of all the, um, we even went through the reel of film and cut out all the things that didn't have people in it or had the same river four oh, times. Gosh. And we went through and cut it, pulled it off the reel. We just got our phones to use like a flashlight. And then uh, I cut out all the landscape ones. And then the ones that had people in it, I gave to her. And then she went like this and goes, oh, it's the same. They're, they went to Yosemite back in 1967. And it was like the same blowhole with her dad standing there pointing and like talking to the camera, but it was 1967. Like you couldn't hear what he was saying. It was, yeah. it was picture. Like it wasn't a film that, you it's know, it was, yeah. yeah. So it's just him going like this and then like this. So she went through like strips and strips and strips and only kept one image of her dad. And then the rest of the duplicates and the whole story was, uh, you know, was trash because it, it didn't need to be, but we took everything off the reel. And then all the slides, same thing. Went through all the slides with our phone, and I threw out all the landscapes because I'm like, okay, there's no people in this. And then I gave her the people one. And then we took breaks. We drank a lot of tea and took breaks and went outside. And then as soon, so I have to say, it probably took, I want to say like seven or eight weeks because it was like seven or eight wow. visits. And it was a, we went through a lot. Like we went through, and she paid the normal rate, and she felt with me kind of like coaching her through it, it helped her stay on task and get it done. And it was like years of avoidance. Ribbons full. Hmm. Do we have any other bins like this? No. Hmm. I want Oh, you're gonna buy one? Well, yeah, we'll have to, right? If you need, a, if you need those ribbons, we'll have to buy a ribbon box. Yeah. Oh. Well, like I said, I want you to do your craft and and have all your stuff together. Um, the only thing is, I could put it in this bottom drawer, but there's an adding machine in here, so I don't know how relevant Where did you this put is. That? Computer paper. I haven't put it away yet. It's just it's just it's separate. In bag, yeah. But I thought I could put your ribbon in here temporarily. You know what? You actually that's where I used to keep that paper, but it's too heavy. Right, it is. Yeah. So you can put it in there. Okay. And where would you like your adding machine to be? Because of all the adding we do. The adding machine. You want to donate that? I haven't used it. Yeah, nobody you uses it. You don't use it. Nobody uses People it. People use their phone for a calculator. Yeah. Okay. Donate Got it. your blessing? Or are you going to wipe off this thing? Yeah. Okay. Not up here.
said this was ribbons. Right? You said this was ribbons, Mom? Ribbons glue them. Oh. That's important. You can't do your crafts without it. I'm just labeling so that we know. So you know. We all know. Okay. Why do we have so many Kleenex boxes? Are we very sneezy people? Allergies. <laughs> Is. What is this? Uh, uh, a hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Babes haven't been opened. I can put those in the middle. Okay. Uh, I was going to put the hand sanitizer back. That's where she wants it. Okay. Allergy. Allergy. Uh, I've got some labels. And then these are extra to be used it's somewhere containers. else in the house. They're just containers. So whether we fill them or donate them. Here, put this in the closet with her pictures, please. Might as well have those picture bins. Okay, we have a random tile. This, are you planning on remodeling? No, that's for uh, nails, actually. Oh. Yeah. For John I thought it was like you were going to tie all over the uh, bathroom window. Okay. I just have to label some things here. Oh, yeah. I'm still looking for something a little shallower than this. To put those in? Yeah. Well, so the issue is I want to put it in here with the crayons. But when I put it in there, it gets stuck on this drawer. So I think I was gonna without the top, it still gets. St yeah, without the, the top, it still gets. Oh, it's better in this top drawer. So that will be it. Yeah, just put the top in there, just so we, in case we over. Yeah, I will put the lid in here so that you can find it, and then I'm just. Mm -hmm. Is the stove the right time? Okay, I'm gonna get some labeling done on this, and then that's kind of it for me. Sweet. And then I've been tidying up as I go, so there shouldn't be any mess. Oh, I need a mess, I'll, I'll pick up. Well, I just try to be a tidy person and not leave people a mess, I guess is the term. Okay, so tape and glue. Oh, and I found this. Is this you? Yeah, it's more lighting. Lighting. Okay, so lighting or in the back? Okay, so. part about organizing one space is there's always more to be done oh yeah it's a never but at the same time we're studying the standard so once this area gets handled yeah I think a lot of people probably say you know what I know how to clean but this is different than cleaning this is organizing right this is completely different And I thought it would be, I mean, almost impossible when you have a room that's used for so many different things, podcasts, crafting. So the problem games. with it is if you don't define a room or even a space, it's very easy for it to be a dumping ground because there's no rules or rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, that's where labeling comes in. That's where grouping like items together come in. <laughs> Uh, it's where a lot of things <coughs> happen. I was telling her about the other table I have in the garage for crafting. The table? 
Okay. Yeah, it, it's a table, and then one, and then one side lays down, but you can lift it up and then kind of probably pull it out, yeah, and then you can do all your craft on. It's more David. She was saying maybe there. She's moving that cabinet more towards the. I don't know. Oh, put it right here. I don't know what it measures. Maybe we'll take a picture. This is kind of the most tedious part at the end, but I don't like to label until the end, which gives me an opportunity to move things around mm -hmm. or combining things. Then I'm making labels and trashing them, wasting, wasting right. time, wasting. Because uh, once you make the labels, it kind of becomes de definitive that spot is for that, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And another question I had was like, do you, when, when, when you finally have a place like this where it's now you have space, now you have more space, you ever dealt with where the person goes, well, cool, now I have more space. And, and well, some people would be like, cool, I have more space, let's leave it like that. But then there's the other person that's like, no. now I can put more stuff in that space. Do you ever run, run, run into that a lot? And it, it, it often is the case now that more space has been opened up people want to fill it yes so we go back to the root issue of not having enough growing up mm. so now they're going to go back to these things of oh there's empty space great i need to buy more to fill the space whether they're buying more of the same things more crafts more mem more records more mm -hmm. office supplies more whatever their thing is to consume more but they again forget about volume and how yes it's gonna fill up space but now you're buying way more than you'll ever consume I ran into this with toothbrushes and toothpastes <laughs> so the average person who follows a routine of changing out their toothbrush every six months which we know I don't know anyone who does that but if they were <laughs> you know <laughs> um, they buy so let's say you go through two toothbrushes a year and then you see them on sale and you buy 15 of them you know how many two a year it'll take you to go through that 15 oh, but then a week later they buy another 10 because they couldn't find the 15 and yeah. now you have 30 toothbrushes and I'm like okay are we gonna use these toothbrushes oh I don't like that one I bought a whole new program through Phillips and they're gonna mail me a new head every six months oh, and I go man. great let's get rid of these let's donate these let's get these to a shelter oh no I want to keep them for guests and I'm like Okay, okay, well, it's also taking up all this space. You know, a lot of guests to get rid of those toothbrushes. Oh. So this part comes down. Mm -hmm. So if you put this part down, will it, will it just be like that space? Yeah. So then can it go right there? Well, that's what she said, too. Can I maybe give it right here? Yeah. It's in a box still? Yeah. You never use it. Well, because like I never had the space to bring it out. I didn't know where to put it. Yeah. So it goes back to the root feeling of how much is enough 
and how much do you really need and how much space does it take up mm -hmm. and how many guests really need toothbrushes and these are all pivoting questions that I have to ask my client to think like okay great then let's make a guest room um, basket or something let's do these things so that when guests come over they you know have access and you know let's get it to a shelter so it makes sense at least yeah because if you can't find them to use them to share them then what good is it crazy okay i kind of feel like we're done think we're done uh these things won't fit in the drawers so they're kind of just big objects mm -hmm. uh, i'll remove this so you I can give it a wipe down i don't remember what this looked like this is amazing well that's why you took that initial <laughs> video the transformation is so different that people can't believe it so that's so. where the before and after pictures really come into play because it just shows how it was before Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below and make sure you subscribe for more killer videos by Ray's Flaves.